Okay. Now comes your uh, first question on TAT. Deliberately trying to weave a positive story even when the negative stimulus has been shown, it leads to illogical creation of the stories. Fine. Let me tell you, the psychologist projects you three types of, you know, the pictures. The neutral picture. Second thing is suggesting a stress picture. And the third thing is direct stress picture. I think you're talking about, when you say that negative, I think you're talking about the pictures in which there is a direct stress, the cause and the effect of the stress. For example, there is an accident scene. Another example, there could be an injured person lying there. Sometimes you find there's a fire. Sometimes a ship is capsizing. Remember one thing that the armed forces are established to manage the stress, difficulties, problems and negativity. You are not supposed to be writing a positive story by converting the negative stimulus into positive. You have to accept the negativity which is the part of this very life itself. Show your reaction to the negativity, problem. Stress, whatever you may call it. This is where your planning, organizing, resourcefulness, problem-solving behavior, imagination, determination, leadership quality, these things will be shown, these, th these things will be articulated once you take the negativity head-on. Is it, is it clear now? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, as far as preconceived story for the blank picture and the purpose of the blank picture, I think um, I have spoken enough about it. And uh, there's another uh, video of mine. I'll show the link. I'll share the link after this slide. Let me tell you that the purpose of the blank story is to prepare you for the next test. That is the WAT. Now, what happens? It is a psychological process and your unconscious mind gets agitated. A lot of your previous memories, sometimes the emotions, you know, they come once again alive. Earlier they were in dormant stage in the unconscious mind and when a stimulus is there, for example, if there is a scene of an accident, it is quite possible that you have witnessed at least a few of the candidates. They must have witnessed this incident in their own life. And all the memories and emotions, they once again, they come alive. They become, you know, active. Now, if you write a story, then these emotions, they subside. The memories, they subside. But it is still possible that something might be so intense that it is reverberating in your mind. And if there is some stimulus in the WAT to this effect, let us say the word is accident or the word is injury. Your emotions, the residual emotions and the memories might interfere with your response. So we want that such a type of psychological unwanted crash must be driven out of your mind. So the purpose of the blank story is to give you a vent, a window, so that the residual energy, the residual you know, emotions and the memories, which otherwise could interfere with your responses, they should be flushed out. You will, um, I'll share the, you know, in the next slide, I'll share you the, uh, you know, the link. Go there. On 2nd of September last year, I have, uh, you know, posted a video. Please watch that. I think you'll find a very you know, convincing answer about what is the purpose of uh, the you know, blank story and how to go about it. Sure, now, sir. coming to your last question, and uh, appreciate uh, Sridhar's uh, you know, patience because he also uh, needs the answer to his questions. Okay. Right. Coming to uh, the uh, fifth question of uh, Shruti, that is for... Uh, you know, 
I mean, in you are you are shown eleven pictures or twelve pictures, and do you feel it is uh, compulsory for us to select a hero of our own gender? Look, technically speaking, any person who is uh, carrying forward the issue, solving the issue, let us say, whatever is the task, completing the task, any person can be hero. But any person could be this, you know, central character. But in our Indian context, let me tell you, where boys and girls, they are being raised with different role expectations and with different concerns. The society is not yet free of this discrimination. And that is why, frankly speaking, we have got different TAT sets for boys and for girls. So I hope this gives the answer. Okay, the upbringing that uh, and the environmental expectations they give you know kind of um, you know the what what must I say? There is certainly a difference in the perspective and role expectations and the skills of boys and girls. So it's better that you stick to your own you know side. That is, if you are a girl candidate, if you are a woman candidate, so please make always a woman as your hero. That will represent, by the way, hero is your own you know, representation, your own alter ego. Through hero, your own qualities are coming. Okay, this is a projective technique. This simply means that when the main active person of the you know, situation is not defined, then the person taking the test himself or herself projects qualities on that third person. Okay, so indirectly, the hero is you only. Okay, sir. And I think this is a time to turn to a few of the questions of uh, Sridhar. Sridhar, thank you very much. Appreciate your presence. And I think you also must... Uh, Acha, by the way, before I come to switch over to the... Uh, you, know, you can see this um, link. Please click on the link above. The video appeared on my channel, recording of my... Online session with some students on 2nd September 2023. You can take a screenshot and subsequently you can or you can visit my channel for, you know, this. Now comes your turn. 18 minutes have gone and Sridhar has been very patiently listening. So Sridhar, please, what's your first question? Sir, my first question is, sir, is there any structured classification for stat, uh, stat story narration? like uh, low level narration median level narration high level narration if so how are marks awarded based on these levels by assessors okay just a minute Sridhar. i'll um, um okay 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 uh Sridhar, um, okay ne your next question sir my next question is uh if you see, I, I have seen few interviews, sir, who has uh, recommended. They told that uh, we exposed uh, our own life experience in TAT stories. Okay. Uh, I got some doubts, sir. Sir, mm -hmm. is TAT require personal experience at all to tackle crisis? Or even we can assume a hypothetical situation and describe what we do if we were there? Okay, just a minute. Before we come on to the uh, your your uh, next questions, I think uh, let us uh, deal the questions one after the other. We have written: Is there a structured classification for TAT story narration such as low level, medium level, and high level? Now, see, there is nothing like structured classification. We believe in the individual differences. What makes your TAT story effective? See, there has to be, you know, there are three things. One is there has to be a well-defined, valuable task, which is related with the modern life, right? Second thing is, there has to be a person who is competent to take up the task in his hand and he goes about the task. And the third thing is that the person you know, initiate some actions, planning, resources, so that the task is achieved. Now, as far as the task achievement is concerned, successful task achievement 
इज द क्राइटेरियन अच्छा आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू वेरी कैटेगरिकली दैट इन साइकोलॉजिकल टेस्ट वी डू नॉट गो बाय द क्वालिटेटिव इवेल्युएशन सॉरी क्वांटिटेटिव माय मिस्टेक वी गो बाय द क्वालिटेटिव इवेल्युएशन सो देर इज नथिंग लाइक अ स्कीम ऑफ मार्क्स इंडिविजुअली दिस इज सर्टेनली अ मिस नोन आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड यस सर how the hero was able to achieve a task successfully this becomes the criterion and this criterion is rather qualitative than quantitative coming to a second question does the tat require personal experience to tackle crisis or we can assume a hypothetical situation and describe what we do if we were there i think the question is a very very technical question and on that you will find many people giving very different opinion and frankly speaking it is this this question comes from a very very vast area of ignorance and that's why people say that you have to pick up a task pick up a uh, maybe a problem and issue from your own area from your own you know uh, the, the qualification experience and the life which you are leading this is where i want to make it very very clear please understand that it is just not everything to our experience we learn so many things in our life with the interaction of the people interaction with the life let's say in your family you are the person who is doing the business your youngers are observing you and you also must have been observing your elders from the different fields of life isn't it yes sir in one of my videos i have given this example let us say i hear from the family of lawyers starting from my grandfather to my father to my you know siblings and even to my daughter there is a chain of people in the profession of law right law is not my personal experience but it is interaction with the people i can very well make a story on the life of or the issue you know from these fields similarly you are not a doctor yourself but don't you by your own interaction with the life by your own you know the uh, you know familiarity with the different situations you are not a railway man but you must have traveled quite a lot so you know that how the what is the life of a tt or a guard or the engine driver so what i mean to say that the interaction and familiarity this makes you evolve and diversify your experience okay everything cannot be your personal experience but yes whatever you have learned and learning is just not not by the personal experience only okay learning is by exploration by reading by watching by visiting you know so i hope you got this thing that yes, please sir. i will recommend instead of taking up or picking up the issues and handling it through your own experience only please diversify okay Hope I am clear. I'll take one of your yes. questions more because it's going to be more than twenty-five minutes since. Okay, please okay, go sir. ahead with your next question. So my next question is: Is it okay to start narration without formal introduction of hero? Because if you see in few scenarios, the hero enters directly into action after a short introduction of what led to situation. Because there is no time to introduce about hero, sir. He directly plunges into action. then is it necessary to introduce about hero or uh, frankly speaking uh, there's no fixed way of uh, going about the stories sometimes we give for the purpose of uh, ease of the students that you introduce the hero then introduce the task right these are the ways through which one can go about the uh, you know the, the stories better 
And in the introduction, what do you have to write? I suggest always to my students, just three things, the name, put a comma, approximate age, and the social or professional identity of the person. Bas. Let us say Sridhar, 27, was in the business of, let's say, granite in Hyderabad. Bas. After that, whatever Sridhar does, but straight away, if I come to the action of the Sridhar, without introducing him or without connecting his coming into action, let us say, without introducing the task, then it will be a little, uh, I won't say, it will be, it will be leaving a lot of a scope of, you know, the doubts and those things which are, um, you know, less clear. So, please understand that the hero and the task, it's always better to introduce in the stories. Not necessarily that there is a template, fixed template. It should be hero followed by task. Or sometimes it is the task followed by the hero. Or even any other, as I have told you while answering one of the questions of Shruti, that we believe in the diversity, we believe in the enormity of the response, enormity of the style. So let us not take it as a fixed template. It is quite possible that sometimes your action, hypothetically I am talking about, that your action, the hero's action, but the answer must be there at the end of it, when the psychologist concludes reading the stories, then the, the answer must come that what was the task, who was the hero, and why the hero plunged into action and how he has completed. So, this must be answered. Right? So, yes. um, uh, though you have given me a number of questions, uh, Shredar, but I feel that it's more than half an hour. Of no, all right, sir. So we will we will connect once again. Okay, right. Just don't go. Just don't go away. Just don't go away for the time being. Before the uh, concluding remarks, young friends, Shridhar has asked further questions like, "Sir, in the total eleven pictures, how many of them are hazy and how many of them are clear? Next, can I keep two different problems in uh, one single story? Then." Uh, he asked, in some of the TAT pictures, the hero initially takes the initiative, but thereafter the hero does not give any instruction and the group collectively leads the task. Is this approach okay? And one of the uh, final questions from Sridhar is, sir, will all TAT pictures be based on Indian scenario or will uh, pictures also be on foreign background? Prince, uh, I feel that these are very, very important questions. And for that, I'll get connected with Sridhar, you know, subsequently. In the meantime, what I'm requesting that please be reminded that my next guidance program will be commencing from 4th of July and the registrations for that is open. And here, uh, I'm, I'm giving the link. You can use these links, pay this 500 rupees and book your seat. Oh, I think we have spent a lot of time. The videos should be, I mean, Sridhar, uh, I don't know who or somebody else has suggested that it should be a little shorter because it's, it tries the patience of the people. So thank you very much. And to, to Sridhar, definitely I promise that we will connect once again. And all last of your four questions, they are very, very important. We'll certainly take up. With this promise, uh, young friends, I take leave. And uh, with a lot of feeling of gratitude to Shruti and Sridhar. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank Bye, you, sir. Thank you, sir.